Yes, this is uh, Beyonce singing the Star Spangled Banner at the inauguration the other day. Uh, word out today is she may have lip synced it. Do you care? You know what? Um, not really, but she's been accused of doing this before. She's Beyonce. She does not have to lip sync. The girl has chops. We know she can sing. She it does was a still her concert. voice. You know what? And, and this is at, at sporting events everywhere. Celebrities are always given the option to lip sync it. A lot of them choose to lip sync it because it's tough to, with the echo, with, with everything that's going on and that freezing cold. It was still her voice. She still made an appearance. She was singing live. You can see it though. And then she's even touching her IFB to make sure that she's hearing it properly back. Right? Because there is that delayed echo effect. I, well, she, but keep in mind when, when people lip sync, they actually sing. So she's, she may have been listening to the playback as well. But, but whether or not she did, I don't honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. I think she was singing live. It is a big deal if the whole thing is that it is Beyonce and she knows how to sing, but here's the deal. They also said she didn't carry her own baby to term. This woman could do no right. <laughs> Someone else did. Like, Someone give else Beyonce did. a break. So our good friend Bob McCallan finds himself in the front pages of the papers this morning over rumors <laughs> and tweets and uh, what happened was yesterday, yesterday, it was, it was yesterday, yesterday. On, on his uh, primetime sports show on Sportsnet Fan, the 590, uh, 590 The Fan. Uh, that they were talking about, hey, who would make a good replacement for the uh, the Leafs uh, president? And Nick Kiprio said, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe Wayne Gretzky. Well, so much today, so it happens. Mainstream media start picking up rumors and tweets <laughs> and taking it as gospel. Now, Bob's on the phone with us right now. Bob, I'm sorry. First of all, we woke you up yeah, this sorry. morning. What was, time is it? It was Dina's idea. Welcome to our world, okay? No, we really appreciate this because you really are the authoritative voice when it comes to all things sports news. So we yeah, love sure. your take on this because now, as Kev said, the Twitter sphere, social media has become the main source for news. That's how news takes off sometimes, and it's not a reliable so, source. Bob, Bob, first of all, tell people what happened. What, what, did, what did Nick say? Well, first of all, we lip synced the entire thing yesterday. <laughs> so I don't think nice. So Kiprios wanders into the studio as he's wont to do once a week, and Cox and I are sitting there. And Damian before Cox, we go yeah. on the air, Damien says, uh, "You know, somebody mentioned to me Gretzky for president of the Leafs," and I said, "Oh, that's an interesting topic." And two seconds later, we're on the air, and I throw to Damien, and he opens up this uh, can of worms, and we start just yakking about it. Now, there's no basis we're not trying to create a, a, a flood of rumors we're not attributing this to any kind of a source we're having a conversation about the possibility of wayne being president <laughs> of the leafs and would he be interested and would his wife janet want to move up here and they have two still young kids i think 10 and 12 who are still in school and 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 we had a conversation for 15 minutes and we, then we continue the show, and I go out to dinner, and at 6 o'clock this morning, one of your idiot producers wakes me up, and apparently this thing is a complete storm. It's so. everywhere. It, it went crazy yesterday on, on some of the, the news services. I think, I think, thank goodness, a lot of the more reputable ones are saying, you know what, this was this was just a whole bunch of... Uh, suggestion. Uh, suggestion. It, it went through the uh, Twitter sphere. But we're finding more and more, Bob, that people are, are, are taking Twitter and Facebook a, as, as gospel. And, I mean, that, that especially has to fuel rumors in, in an industry, the sports industry, that is already fueled by rumors. Mm -hmm. How do you control it, though? That's the problem. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big, people who follow me, and I don't know why you would, because I don't tweet very often, but I, I'm not in, I know you guys are, but I'm not into that universe. And the fundamental reason is because of things like this. Things get blown completely out of proportion. Okay, but let's look at the positive, the silver lining. Is there not power in this suggestion? I mean, it's a great suggestion. Maybe he'll actually consider it. Maybe it wasn't yeah. a thought before, and now yep. he may be forced to mull it over. You know which what? You'll be, a good be thing. you'll be like Life of Brian. We're all waiting to hear what Bob McCowan says next. Yeah. Well, how about this? I don't think it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's not as sexy. Speaking well, of sex, speaking okay, so that, and just to fill you in, yeah. here's what I've been able to ascertain. Believe it or not, you actually can contact people between 6 and 7 in the morning. So after I was so rudely awakened, I figured, well, I, I looked at the, I went online, I looked, holy cow, look at this thing. And so I made a couple of phone calls, and here's what I was able to ascertain. Okay. The, a member of the board of the Toronto Maple Leafs, I believe, has actually contacted Wayne Gretzky. So the story isn't without some merit. And? And the response from Wayne was Wait, that, let me grab my Blackberry. I need to tweet this. Yeah, he, he 
has had some conversation but has no interest. All right, there you go. I'm All sending right, that out as soon as I find my BlackBerry. Are you which wearing... is not to say that there was an offer, which is not to say that the board has considered it. A member of the board individually contacted Wayne recently. I don't know how recently. And so there's, there's, some, there's some truth and validity to the suggestion that there's been a discussion. <laughs> but beyond that, really nothing. It's, and we didn't, we didn't even know that last night when we were talking about it. All right, I'm Bob. going to say Paulina should be president. How's that? His daughter. <laughs> Uh, well, Paulina might be interested in it, right? although I think she likes warm weather, too, based on uh, <laughs> the various photographs I've seen. She doesn't, I don't think she's real big on parkas. All right, Bob McAllen, host extraordinaire of Primetime Sports, uh, heard on Sportsnet 590. The Go back to bed Thanks, now. Bob. Thank you. Call me anytime you have okay. news. Mark that down, would you call <laughs> Bob McAllen anytime in the morning?